Welcome to the vignette Meta-Analytic Plots. You should now have all of your data in a pretty file, computed effect sizes for each study and run a meta-analytic model. You'll also want to have some figures to explain your findings as well. Some of your plots may be about reproducibility, while others may try and show trends in the data related to specific predictors. For reproducibility, you may, for example, make a funnel plot. Funnel plots depict standard error of the effect size as a function of effect size. The smaller the error, the closer the effect size is expected to be to the true population mean, and the larger the error, the further away from the population mean and effect size can be. This is represented by the white funnel in the plot. If all results are published, then studies will deviate from the population mean in either direction, whereas if a field of research systematically ignores a certain direction, then this plot can be asymmetrical. However, note that there can also be other reasons for a plot to be asymmetrical. As you can see from the plot, most points are inside the white area, suggesting there is not a high degree of bias in the data. Another common meta-analytic plot is a forest plot. Forest plots display all effect sizes and will give you a sense of how much variance there is across studies in effect sizes. If you have a lot of effect sizes in your meta-analysis, it may not be practical to show them all. The plot presented here is only a sample of the effect sizes from our example of word segmentation. In addition to meta-analytic plots, you may also want to see how effect sizes change as a function of some variable in your data. One common predictor examined in infant literature is age. The plot here from word segmentation shows the correlation of age and days and effect size. The regression is rather flat, suggesting that effect size does not change as a function of age. Depending on your meta-analysis, you may have other variables of interest to regress on, for example native language or vocabulary size. Meta-analysis are a great way to learn more about these kinds of effects, which would be difficult to test in a single study.